Okay, so now we're gonna go on to wash the wig, but a couple of things that I wanna make sure we mention. One, use lukewarm, never hot water, because it can take out color. And two is, you always want the water to go in the same direction of the hair, meaning straight down, to prevent any knotting or matting or any inversion that we talked about just earlier of the hair coming back in. So Kathleen's gonna start washing this and just take a quick look, because it's really super simple. So what's the first thing? So now we're gonna uh, make sure that she's wet. And just make sure she's really damp and keeping her hair straight down and not turning her upside down so that we stop any matting, any tangling, so that way you have more control of keeping your hair at its healthiest. We start off with the shampoo, two pumps, this is all you need, and then you just start, start going down. Just start going down so that way that the water and the shampoo are going the same way running down and then you sometimes just, I put my fingers through yes it. that's what I'm doing now so that what I'm doing is just keeping it you're literally as you're doing this you're combing it through with your hands right and so was all the way down to the um, the cap because you want to make sure your cap is clean too so you're literally pushing the soap through and this is where you do you want to make sure that you keep the um, cap the hair all perfectly in line and that way you get flawless clean hair and sometimes what you, you can do this you can lift her up and then just make sure that you get all around the edges because that's mostly where your your oil and your makeup is um, produced yeah, also in the back the of the nape yes that's okay. where the sweat um, so you want to make sure that that part is the main part that you get because if you don't it sticky and it just doesn't lay right and I want your hair to flow with you. So now that we've done this, and sometimes you may have to wash her twice depending how dirty she is. So people always ask, you know, when do I need to wash a wig? <laughs> I always say you'll know because it either has that funky sort of fragrance <laughs> or it stops moving like it moved before. So you'll always know. You know, it gets too flat, doesn't really move with you. Okay. Now I'm rinsing her. Again, in the same direction. So the water's going down. And you're just taking your hands through it. And she rinses out very well. It's going to be very easy to keep her clean. And you can always tell by the water. It will show you if it's dirty. So that way you know if you need to wash her more than once. Remember something. Hard water is hard on wigs. Yes. So sometimes getting a water filter is a great idea if you're going to be really investing in any type of wig. It's still an investment. I don't care if it's $100. It's an investment to your soul and how you look and how you feel. So if you're going to spend the money on that, I would get a water filter and make sure the water is right. And make sure you rinse her out at least two minutes so that you get all of the soap out because you do not want to leave a residue of soap in your hair. Now remember, we're not turning her over. We're not no. spinning or anything else. We're still keeping her uh, direct up, okay? So now that she is thoroughly rinsed, we will add conditioner. This is the tough part, yes? Because we don't want to get the conditioner on the top where people sew the wigs, that's called the knots. Because if you do, they're gonna loosen and you'll lose more hair more quickly. So if you're gonna do anything on the top, I usually, yeah, we usually like take the conditioner, take the hair away from the root and put the conditioner on the hair. And you could just basically strum your fingers through it. Yeah? Yes. And you can use, um, what I love to use is the um, Gold Wear Rich um, Hair Repair because then that way you're getting a great conditioning on the wig. And you want to make sure that you keep top quality hair at its best by conditioning with um, excellent products. You do not want cheap products that is full of soap or alcohol. Alcohol. Or... There's so much you got to make. But you sure. know, I love Goldwell also because their shampoo really has a great scent, right? Yes. It's not very strong. It usually gets in there and cleans. Um, sometimes you have to use a little bit stronger shampoo called a clarifying shampoo that's taking residue off, but we're not using clarifying shampoo today. They we're just using Goldwell Rich Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. You'll see a lot of the products that we're going to use are actually Goldwell. I love them. So now we're using a wide tooth comb to comb through the conditioner. 
So this way you know that if you got it on the hair. So what, it's evenly distributed? It's evenly okay. distributed. If there's any kind of tangling, it helps detangle the hair so nicely. You see how even with it just being shampoo that you just work it through gently and it just easily to comb right through. And you just don't pull it through. If it gets a little stuck, just sit there and see where it's at and gently just separate it. You don't have to yank on the hair because you don't want to pull from the cap because you can stretch your cap. And, and you, you stretch can, the hair, it becomes and frizzy. You, and you can lose hair. We don't want to lose hair. So you just gently try to sit there and work it through and let the conditioner do the job and not you forcing it. And guess what? She comes out beautiful with lots of body. <laughs> and lots of love. And We're lots giving of Mary love. Bell lots of love. Yes, love your wig and she'll love you. There you go. Okay, now that she has totally been um, combed through with the conditioner, let it sit on there for at least two, two to five minutes so that it can condition the hair um, thoroughly so that you're not ending up with dry hair. I also think the comb helps distribute the conditioner evenly throughout the hair too. Yes. So now that the conditioner's been on Mary Bell for two minutes, um, Kathleen's now going to be rinsing this out in the correct way. Remember, water goes in the same direction as the hair, so you don't ever, ever have to worry about forgetting that, and that way there's less knotting and tangling. So yes. she's going to first rinse this out. You're taking your hands through it, right? Yes. Yeah, so you she runs her hands through it. That way you're getting all the conditioner out, right? You want to get it off the cap as soon as possible. No and twirl, you don't turn no. it upside down. You'll get to every area, don't worry. Just have a little patience. And once sure you have this down, sorry, once you have this down, it's like five minutes, so don't worry about it. Once, and make sure that you rinse her out thoroughly because if you don't, conditioner will leave a residue and it will look greasy and you will feel like it feels dirty. This way you can have it move around with lots of body because the conditioner has done its job. Perfecto. All right, good. So everybody has a towel at home. You can certainly use that type of towel and that's great. And we're gonna show you how to dry in that. Or you can use this towel that I found called a friction-free towel. It has kind of this chamois kind of feel to it, but interesting enough, it actually soaks up water three times as fast. So I always use it because if we're in a hurry and we just want to get it dry real quick, this is a good towel to get. So it's called a friction free towel. So we're going to show you a little bit of when you take the wig off and we're going to show you how to dry it. So one thing I do want to mention about this towel is because it's um, more of a chamois and not cotton, it's less frizzing your hair out when it's drying. Because a lot of people know when even with my texture hair, it dries it without the cotton frizzing the hair out. Yes. I actually didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Okay. okay. So we're first touching the hair on the, the doll head so that we can just mat down and let it soak up as much water as possible all the way through. And it's doing a great job. I can already see. So okay. in using the friction-free towel, it lessens frizz and it helps it dry more quickly. Okay? Yes. I also do it a different way. Sometimes I choose to use the head and sometimes I take the friction towel and I literally just roll her slightly and then you pat her dry like this. Right, because that really soaks it up with this thing. Yes. This towel's amazing. I love this towel. So that way she can dry faster so that you can start wearing your girlfriend sooner. Well, she's definitely drier on top. Yes. Okay, let's go over how to comb her correctly. 